Hey, what's up? This is Reed. If you've had a robot vacuum get stuck on cords or shoestrings, you know it can be frustrating. The Roborock S6 Max V tries to solve a lot of these problems by detecting and avoiding objects using its cameras. Let's see how well this actually works and what else comes with one of the best robot vacuums you can buy right now. First, let's look at the cameras and the AI since it's the main feature of this robot vacuum. I was curious how well the cameras would work, so Roborock sent me this one to test out. It has stereoscopic vision, which is a fancy way of saying it has dual cameras. That gives it more depth perception to detect objects it should avoid. The way it avoids objects is with the onboard reactive AI. So your footage is not sent to the cloud, but instead it's processed on the vacuum itself. It uses a Qualcomm processor that is actually 50% better than the one that's on the S6. It's supposed to come loaded with tens of thousands of objects to avoid, but there's only one way to find out if it works. I threw a bunch of things on the ground, cords, shoes, and toys, plus some presents from the pet. The vacuum did a pretty good job overall in avoiding these things. The AI worked very quickly at identifying what the object was. It wasn't always correct, like sometimes it would say a toy was a shoe, or random things were pet waste. The majority of the time it identified the object correctly though, but I did still have a few issues with the AI. The main issue is with shoes. The AI detected shoes, but the vacuum still got too close and became tangled on the shoelace sticking out. This could be an easy software fix to stay far away from shoes, so I'm not too worried. Also, if there was a lot of objects on the ground, the vacuum could get stuck trying to avoid everything. More on that in a second. The last issue I ran into was avoiding objects in the dark. The cameras do have infrared, but the AI had a difficult time identifying objects with less light in the room. A lot of people might be worried about a camera wandering around your house. Roborock is taking privacy very seriously, and like I mentioned earlier, nothing is stored in the cloud. Also, you can't view anything on the cameras unless you activate it first. This includes images of the objects it's avoiding and a live view of the camera feed, which you have to hold all three buttons on the vacuum to activate. The live camera view was awesome though. My kids and I had so much fun playing around with this feature. Everything was so responsive and it basically became a big toy for my family. This is actually a useful feature as well. Remember when I mentioned the vacuum got stuck from too many obstacles? I loaded up the live camera feed and drove it out with no problem. You could also use it to check on things in the house if you were on vacation. It's much more useful than I thought it would be. Another interesting feature is that you can record messages that are securely transferred to the vacuum to be played out loud. Again, this is not in the cloud. Maybe they tell your dog you love them. They might not understand the message though, being chased around by the robot vacuum. The vacuum will announce every few seconds that the camera is being viewed. Remote viewing active. This is another good privacy feature so the people in the room are aware. I'm not going to go deep into the specs because there's a great Reddit post that breaks down all of the specs and compares it against other mapping robot vacuums. I'll link it down below and go give them an upvote because that would have taken a lot of work to do. The SX Max V really stands out because it has amazing specs across the board. It doesn't have a self-emptying bin like the Roomba S9 Plus, but the Roomba is lacking in other areas like that it can't mop. Mopping on the SX Max V is excellent with the bigger water tank and the controllable water flow. This is similar to the S5 Max, which has been very popular for that reason. The water tank is separate from the mopping pad, unlike the S5 and the S6 Pure, which I've tested. This updated design is way more effective at mopping. It also has no mop zones you can define in the map. That way, if you have carpet, you can mark those areas in the app. The max suction is even higher than other Roborock vacuums, which is impressive because those were already very powerful. I tested it out and it seemed to get everything I threw at it. The noise is actually not bad considering the suction power. You can hear the rubber side brush, which is a little more noisy than the bristle brush on the S5. Just like the other Roborock vacuums, the side brush slows down when it's not against a wall. It helps debris not get knocked into areas it's already cleaned. You can also automatically have it increase power when it's on carpet. I don't know why the same technology isn't used to just not mop the carpet though. The dustbin is still a good size for how big of a water tank it has. It also has a very large battery, but if it doesn't finish the whole house, it will charge up and finish cleaning. The wheels are big and can help it clear uneven floors. The SX Max V has LiDAR on it, which uses a laser that spins around and it's very accurate at mapping the house. 
It allows you to mark no-go zones and virtual barriers. Even though this vacuum has cameras with AI to avoid objects, this feature is still useful in avoiding areas where it can get stuck. I usually add a no-go zone for my dark rug. Just like all the other Roborock vacuums I tested, it thinks a dark rug is a cliff and can sometimes get stuck on it. After mapping, it will create rooms that you can select. You can also choose the order of the rooms that it cleans. If your house has separate levels, it can create a map for each level. I talk about this in my S6 Pure video, and it's a really useful feature. The camera and AI make automating this robot vacuum much easier. Like, I don't have to worry about it knocking over my dog's water bowl while I'm gone. In other robot vacuums, you kind of have to worry about if it's doing more harm than good. You can create a schedule in the Roborock app to clean at a certain time, or you can control it with your voice using Google or Amazon. You still cannot clean a specific room with your voice, but maybe Roborock is watching this video and they'll add it. Please? You can also use Amazon routines to start the vacuum when you're away from your house. If you have multiple people in your house, you could use something like SmartThings and activate that Amazon routine when everyone is gone. The Roborock S6 Max V comes in at $750 right now, which is expensive. It's not a vacuum for everyone, and there are less expensive robot vacuums out there that will still do a great job. The AI in this vacuum is really impressive of what it can avoid, but it still has a ways to go, especially with shoelaces and not getting stuck. However, this is a brand new technology, and it's only going to get better with software updates. Besides AI, it cleans very well, and I personally think it's the best robot vacuum on the market. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again next time. Hey, we need to talk. You've been identifying way too many things as pet waste. My kids' toys, even a hand, is just getting hurtful. Don't look at me like that.